Welcome, in front of me I have Redmi Watch 5 Lite and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can do it by pressing and holding the side button on your watch. Keep holding the button until you see the Xiaomi or other Redmi logo on the screen. Then you can release the button and wait until the watch boots up. And once it boots up, you should see the list of languages on the screen. Find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it, tap on it. And now we need to download and install the Mi Fitness application on the phone we want to pair our watch with. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Then open the Play Store on your phone. In the Play Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in Mi Fitness and tap on search. You should see this application, Mi Fitness, formerly known as Xiaomi Wear. Apparently I have it already installed, so I'm gonna uninstall it. And then tap on install button to install it, because if it's already installed, that means I'm logged in already, so I uninstalled install, I it to basically remove everything and we're gonna uh, go from the beginning. That's why I uninstalled it. Okay. And once the app is done installing, tap on open. In the app, tap on start. Check the boxes. Tap on agree. Now select the service region by tapping here. Scroll through the list, find the region you want. And then tap on next. And at this point, you should see the health page. Now tap on device icon, tap on add device tap on agree, agree, allow the required permission and the app should start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your Redmi Watch 5 Lite. Tap on it, select it. As you can see, we need to log in into a Xiaomi account. So tap on sign in. And if you don't have an account, you can always make a new one by tapping on create account. But if you do basically enter the email address, phone number or whatever, as you can use, I believe Xiaomi uh, account name and then enter the password to log in. I'm gonna enter mine, so give me a couple of seconds. And after you log in, it will bring you back to the uh, adding page. Select the watch again. Tap on pair on your phone and tap on the check mark on the watch. Right here you can tap on done, continue. And then go through the tutorial by tapping on next then done. And here we can turn on the notifications. So basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you can do it here. If you don't care, you can tap on dismiss and basically keep it disabled. If you want to enable them, you have two options. You have a mirror phone notifications or customized notifications. If you select this option, all of the notifications will be uh, enabled uh, for the apps on your phone. So basically, um, if you have something on your phone disabled, uh, or let's say for you have an app that you disable the notifications for on your phone, it will be the same on your watch. Basically, it mirrors the settings of your phone. And the customized notifications allows you to uh, customize it to your liking. So select the option you like, and then tap on set. If you don't have required permissions enabled, it will redirect you to the uh, notification access page. So tap on set, find the Mi Fitness application on the list, tap on it, enable the notification access, tap on allow and then go back. Next we have the uh, notifications about calls and we can allow it to show the contact information when somebody is calling you. So if the watch vibrates to show you that somebody is calling you, it will be able to display the contact information. You can dismiss it, but if you want to use the feature, tap on set and allow the required permissions. Then we have the DND with, sync DND with phone. So basically, if you turn on do not disturb mode on your phone, and will turn on on your watch. And if you disable it, for example, let's say on your phone, it will also turn it off on your watch and vice versa. So uh, you can sync it if you like to. If you don't care, you can tap on dismiss. If you want to do it, tap on set and it will be enabled. And then we can also enable the sync for the 
workout data and fitness stuff like that. So if you want to do it across the devices you have connected to your account, tap on OK. You can also tap on Cancel. Here tap on Got It. And now you should see Redmi Watch 5 Lite on the list of devices or on the device page. And your watch should be ready to use, which means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.